Hi, I'm Danny Bermant. I'm the director of Brainstorm Design, and I'm going to show you how to get the most out of social media. An HTML email is different from regular emails. It's a much more visually attractive format. It's got pictures and it's got graphics in it, and it's much more likely to be noticed by people who open it. Now, you don't have to be a graphic designer to design one, because if you use any HTML email service, they give you templates that you can use that take about five minutes to set up. What I'm going to do is show you how to set them up. To send out an HTML email, I would recommend you use a third-party email service, such as Constant Contact. Now, Constant Contact is one of the most popular services. There are actually hundreds of services out that you can use, but I'm going to show you how to use this. So firstly, log into your account. The beauty of using an email service is that you don't have to be a graphic designer to design your email. Um, they will give you some ready-made templates uh, which you can use to send out your emails. Okay, so to create an HTML email, click on the option create an email. Come up with a name for your email. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, this is for your benefit. Your recipients won't see that name. And you'll then be given a whole selection of templates to use. All designed for you. You can, choose the, you can even choose the colour of the template, you can choose how many columns it's got in it. So just find, uh, find what you want. Uh, choose whether it might be a business email, it might be a social email. In this example I'm going to use the Facebook template because I want to tell people that I'm on Facebook. Select the template. Here's where you choose the subject line of the email. Now you need to come up with a punchy heading because your recipients are probably getting about 100 emails a day most of which they delete. So you need to really have a subject heading that really stands out. Um, you need to put the from name so they know who it comes from. Um, and uh, you also need to choose which email address you're sending it from. You'll now be taken into an editor. Um, now it's a very, very visual editor. So you don't have to worry about any design. You just go into any section of the email and you click on the pen symbol and you can type away and edit the text. You can also put in images, uh, bullet points, links, whatever you like. It's like using Microsoft Word. Save. As well as a visual version of your email, you need to also create a text version because some of your recipients will not be accepting graphics. Uh, for example, um, some of your recipients will be receiving their email on their phones and uh, they'll have a slow internet connection. They'll only want a text version of your email. So make sure that you've got a text version Make sure that uh, the text corresponds with the text on your graphic version and click on save. Before you send out any email, make sure you preview it. Click on the preview button. It will show you what the email looks like. And then type in the email address that you want to receive the preview at. Um, check you get a, both an HTML and a text version of your email. And don't send it out till you're absolutely sure that you're happy with the preview. Now once you've created your email, you need to actually choose who you're going to email it to. Now you need to have obviously a mailing list and what you need to do is you need to import all your contacts. Now if you've already imported your contacts, you can choose the mailing list you want to send your email to. If you don't yet have a mailing list, you need to go and click on your contacts. Now at this stage you can either manually add contacts or you can upload your contacts from a list. So if you want to add new contacts to your mailing list, or if you want to create a mailing list, you have to click on Add an Update. You have to agree to the terms. All email programs are pretty strict. They want to make sure that you're not sending any spam to people. You're not emailing people who don't want to receive emails from you. So you have to verify that these are people you've contacted before and they consent to receive emails from you. You then have a few options of how to add contacts. Um, you can paste an email address here, um, you can manually type in the email address, or you can even import the email address, which is often the quickest way to do it. Um, you may have a mailing list on, on Excel where you've got a list of names, you've got a list of email addresses, and all you have to do is just choose the file and import it, and Constant Contact will then import a whole list of names and email addresses. So once you've updated your mailing list, make sure that the name and address of your organisation is correct. Finish off and 
The final thing to do is select the list that you want to choose to email to. So uh, I've got a list here called General Interest. And finally schedule the email. Think about this very carefully. You can either send now, in which case it will send the email out to us immediately, or schedule it for a particular time. It's often a good idea not to send an email out at the beginning of the week or the end of the week. The beginning of the week is a time when everyone's just come into work and they've got a load of emails to check through, um, so they may not notice your email. Uh, at the end of the week, everyone is uh, off for the weekend, so they may not bother reading your email. So try and think of a time. I often think that midweek is a good time to, uh, to send emails to people. It's more likely that they will actually open and read your email. So once you've scheduled, once you've clicked on send now or schedule the date, just scroll down, click on save, and your email will go out. And that's how to create an HTML email.